So this summer, Intat and I had the opportunity to work in Gareth Roberts' uh, Cultural Evolution of Language Lab. Um, and this lab focuses on experimental semiotics, which is a branch of linguistics uh, that focuses on creating lab setting communication games. So we decided that we wanted to focus on how people interpret a sudden increase in complexity in communication. Yeah, so there's some previous work that shows that uh, some universal properties of language develop quickest between uh, when, when two people interact with each other um, rather than when uh, a learner interacts with a teacher. Um, and these, uh, these papers show that signals sent between partners tend to also simplify over time. So we wanted to study this simplification process and we designed, uh, we designed an experiment to test how um, two, uh, two people in a Pictionary-like uh, game would interpret simplification and um, a sudden increase in complexity uh, in, in a drawing. Yeah, so like Intad is saying, um, we designed an experiment that was a common kind of theme in experimental semiotics, uh, which is the use of a Pictionary style game. Um, so essentially, there will be two participants. One will be a drawer and the other will be a matcher. So the participant who's a drawer will be drawing an image from a set word list or a reference list. Um, and the matcher will be trying to guess which word the person was representing in their picture. So in order to look further at complexity, we designed this complexity substitution um, in which later on in the game, once the players have seen a referent multiple times and become experienced to it and hopefully experience some simplification of the referent, um, we will substitute in an earlier image of that referent uh, drawn by the drawer in order to see how people interpret this more complex image after they've already seen simplification and communication. Yeah, so um, we're going to measure three things. Uh, we're going to look at which reference, so which items people choose after uh, the complexity substitution, mm -hmm. and whether there's a choice uh, difference between um, the noise condition where some cells aren't uh, transmitted and the no noise condition where all cells are transmitted. Um, and also whether there's a difference in reaction time between um, the substituted matcher's choice and the original occurrence of that more complex image. So we're hoping that with these measures, we'll be able to get a closer look at how people interpret sudden increases in complexity in communication.